Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer Aspire 5 laptop. The exact model for this one is an Acer Aspire 5 A514-53-56UF and that information can be found on the bottom sticker on the bottom of the laptop right over here, right under the serial number. And in this video, I'm going to go over how you can open it up and replace the uh, battery on this one. If your batteries are not holding it any more charge or just simply want to replace it, this video is for you. And by replacing the battery, you're not going to modify anything in the system. You don't need to reconfigure or do anything else. It's just replace it, plug in and play. There's a little tip I'm going to give you on how to make your battery last a little longer at the end of the video. So you guys can follow that step to take advantage and make your battery last longer. All right, the tool that I'm going to be using, it's an iFixit screwdriver set. I really love this screwdriver set. They're made out of S2 class steel. These are really tough in the steel and they last you many years. We're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you do get purchased yourself a pro set, they do come with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers and it will not scratch or damage the casing. This is a 0.3 millimeters guitar pick, so it's kind of tough. With all this on hand, I'm going to get my little magnet, put it on top of the, on the tape so it's easy. Now, on the bottom of the laptop, there's a whole bunch of screws. There's a two types of screws, the short one, which is in front of end of the laptop, and the long ones, which is in the mid and the rest. We're going to keep them in a different pile, so go ahead and remove the short screws which are in the front end of the laptop and keep them in a separate pile. So let's keep these ones in a separate pile. Now, the rest of the screw, we're going to keep them in a, another pile. Also, if you guys find my videos useful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, we're gonna grab our guitar pick, and we're gonna start from the front left side where the speakers are. You're gonna stick the guitar pick about one or two millimeter, squeeze it right in there between the opening covers, bottom cover and the palm rest, and we just wanna twist it backward. You wanna do that same thing in the front all the way to the corner, and you want to start going side to side. You don't need to do the back side as long as you do the front and the side. And you're fine now. You can put it down. All you need to do is to grab the front end, wiggle it around, and it will release it. It will release the bottom cover. All right. And then right away, you can see the whole battery right in front of you is a humongous battery. Let's get some specs on this one. This is a 11.25 volt, which is a 4,471 milliamp hour, 50.29 watt hour battery. The model for this one is an AP18C8K. So I'll try to get the link for this one. I'll leave it in the video description so you guys can purchase yours. To remove the battery, to remove the battery, it's really simple. All you need to do is to put your fingernails at the side of the jack right here, this white jack. And then you want to pull it evenly back all the way. Make sure you always pull it evenly. And there's a little Kapton tape right in here. You can peel this Kapton tape away. You don't actually need it, but you can reuse it. Now, once you remove this connector, next thing you want to do, you want to remove two screws. One right there and one right all the way in the other end. So there's only two screws. Oh, and these screws are Phillips double zero. So grab Phillips double zero and remove these two screws. Once you remove the screws, you can simply just pick up the battery, pull it forward. There's a tiny hinges that the hooks that goes right on the plastic. And then you can grab it. These are three cell batteries. So there's one cell right there. Clearly you can see second cell and third cell. And the controller board is right under here. So let's say that you got the new battery. All you need to do is to put the bottom of the battery all the way under the hooks, bring it down, and then tighten up the screws right in place.
All right. Now you uh, you put the battery in. You want to make sure, always make sure that you put the jack evenly inside the connector. Don't put it sideways in. Put it evenly. And what you want to do, you just want to pinch it together, and it goes all the way in. You can just tuck and stuck the cable right in there. If it stays, you don't have to put the gaffer tape on. But if you want, grab your gaffer tape. If it's still sticky, put it right over. Once you have the battery in there, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover. Put the power right on top and you want to pinch or push down in the corners. Make sure you hear those nice big click sounds. It go, and if you see any opening, you just want to pinch them together and it will go to its place. Now, regarding the battery usage, uh, this is very important for you guys to do it for initial charging. So it makes uh, uh, for your battery to last longer. What you want to do once you put the battery in there, you don't want to power on the laptop at all. You want to leave it off. You want to connect the charger and leave it charging for at least five to six hours. That's very recommended. After five to six hours, you don't want to power on the laptop without the charger connected, just purely on battery. And then you just want to slowly, don't put any game or workload, just slowly start draining the battery down to 25% or 30%. Once the battery reaches 25 or 30 percent, all you need to do is to turn it off and leave it for charging for another five to six hours. This is called the initial charge and discharge, and this is very important for brand new batteries. That way, your battery can last you many years. And after doing that initial charge, you can just charge up and discharge it the way you wish. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, you know what to do. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.